Hi, I'm at the uh, St. John Divine uh, Cathedral. This is uh, located in New York City. And this is uh, a kind of unusual sighting as to uh, the pillars itself that's on the building. Uh, the symbolism is quite uh, esoteric and mysterious as of how, why that they were constructed and placed um, on, on the cathedral. And uh, I'll leave the links to this article so that you can examine it closer for yourself and, and read uh, the descriptions. Uh, but I, when I saw it, uh, I thought this was very uh, unusual and very strange. Uh, in particular, what struck me was uh, um, that well, the columns. If you ever in New York City, uh, first I want to say, if you're ever in New York City, uh, go see this cathedral and and take a look at, at these structures, at, at these pillars, and take a get a close examination of them. Uh, and this is uh, the columns are placed next to the cathedral's entrance under the saintly figures. Um, the saintly figures are uh, what they're referring to here right in front of the entrance in the doorway. Um, the photographer uh, made note of the pillars but I always wonder what was like on the doors also and up above not too much above because there's just look like there's people but it looks like they're carrying something some things so they might symbolize uh, something uh, something prophetic I don't know but what was uh, striking was this one pillar because um, there was a prophet uh, well someone had a, a video of the a prophet uh, and he's a prophet of the Lord, and and, and he's he's a for real prophet. He he's not a uh, a false prophet or a fake prophet. But he was giving a a, um, a message to what the Lord was telling him in regards to what was going to happen on the East Coast about an earthquake, and and there's been a lot of. Um, um, prophecies given about New York, uh, where uh, New York was going to be uh, de destroyed, and uh, the same as California. There's been a lot of uh, prophecies given um, about California as well, uh, but this one in particular that the, uh, the prophet was talking about is that this prophecy would happen on the East Coast and that there would be involved an earthquake, a great earthquake. And uh, he also mentioned a flood. And uh, and I think that was all that he, he, he was given. But exactly what kind of flood and um, uh, if that was along the east coast, along, along the coast there, uh, would this be like the tsunami uh, that had been prophesied in, in times past, which it hasn't happened or occurred yet, but it's um, being talked about. And well, this pillar here shows. See these giant waves above the the New York City scape. This is like you see like the twin towers here. This looks like the twin towers and all the skyscrapers here in New York so it looks exactly like New York and uh, these giant waves just look like a tsunami that's just uh, you know going to devastate the whole city and put the whole city underwater you know I just thought I'd show you that you all this to give you all a heads up uh, because I, I take prophecy seriously I really do and those that believe in the Lord you know should too uh, and be forewarned about what's happening or what's going to happen uh, 
this was posted as an original article on the uh, St. John the Divine. The uh, Taylor depicts an apocalyptic New York City being engulfed by enormous flame, uh, enormous waves, excuse me. And you see here, this here, uh, it looks like devastation with the waves, cars, I just, you know, um, well, I guess this is waves where it's being uh, uh, demolished, uh, destroyed by, by waves. So is what New York City going to be destroyed uh, by a great tsunami? Um, this is, this looks like a person playing a piano here. Um, and this right here, I found another picture, and this, uh, depicts, uh, the stock exchange, the New York Stock Exchange Wall Street, where they do business. And what's this woman represent here? That's, uh, her breasts are exposed and all. Um, does that mean, um, something that is not, that is, um, well, they deal with money, dealing money and debauchery or whatever. Um, it all doesn't look very good. Uh, and then there's these, so the, well, there are these creatures. There's a snake. It looks like demons. That's what this, this looks like down here in demons. And these are uh, f human figures. Well, anyway, and it says that this was posted, depicts the destruction of the Brooklyn Bridge, um, which is uh, underneath is the um, New York Stock Exchange of People Trading Goods. And is this a, a reference to the uh, Babylon of Revelation? And I, I noticed that someone did a video, it was a Christian, that said, and made a comment that America wasn't Babylon. Well, if it wasn't Babylon, why is a uh, judgment coming to America? And where it mentioned um, uh, in several references in the Bible that Babylon would be destroyed in an hour. Sounds to me like America. Uh, Here's the Horseman of Apocalypse. The four Horsemen of Apocalypse have been released. And uh, this one, too, is like, is this uh, about to happen uh, pretty soon? Uh, was the coming destruction of New York City and then what this would be called the um, birth of the Antichrist. I don't know what this this looks like. Um, I don't know where a woman is giving birth to a baby, uh, but it looks some kind of of a flower. And uh, this here is a lamb, and it has two horns. The horns of uh, a lamb, the which was mentioned in Revelation, and this uh, describes the Antichrist. And see that the uh, legs of the lamb are bound, bound together. And um, a lamb doesn't have horn, really doesn't have horns. An adult sheep does, but if it's a male, but a lamb doesn't. And so actually that tells of who this depicts. And uh, and these two are mummies. Uh, and mummies are like are, are, are the dead. Um, so that's, um, I guess that depicts that this means that the Antichrist is, uh, comes from the well, comes from the pit of hell, from... Uh, what do they call that in, uh, I was trying to think, in, uh, in the Jewish term, Sheol, which is the hell, the grave. 
um, and this right here, uh, the swirl, um, they call this the vortex, is the swirl, uh, it's, uh, something new agey, uh, I'm not into that, the new agey, but it has to do with, um, when the Antichrist appears, there will be a change upon the earth, and, uh, and there will be like a change in consciousness and things like that. Well, this is all deception that uh, that will that the Antichrist will the or the Antichrist spirit will bring up on the earth. And it says in Book and Revelations that the beast is coming up out of the earth and has two horns like a lamb. So this depicts the Antichrist. Uh, said that well, he'll be a charismatic person um, that will be like a smooth talker and that will convince many people deceive many people and uh, but he will he will be from hell he will be Satan himself of uh, Satan incarnate uh, so you want to be aware of that guy and uh, uh, see the next one is this uh, pertains to well uh, the the dead death okay this one here um, these look like the four creatures that were in heaven you know like they had the head of the the ox the eel and the man and the lion and they had the the four wings. Um, yeah, this is p depicted in the book of Ezekiel. Okay, and and this here, uh, remember, like the Ezekiel's wheel uh, in the book of Ezekiel, and you'll you'll see that when you read uh, chapters one and two, and it tells about what Ezekiel saw. Uh, this. A vision in the sky and it was a wheel within a wheel and it was full of eyes well this is a depiction of um, the uh, UFO uh, invasion uh, so that's what I wanted to tell you too there was something else also uh, about the um, the UFO deception and about common alanin uh, uh, there's something else I found out about common alanin uh, it's not a comet at all. Uh, it's uh, the a lot of people are saying that it is a tetrahedron shaped, which is a pyramid shaped spaceship. So is that the meaning that Satan is coming down with great wrath and um, upon the earth and and to deceive many uh, because it's not Jesus. Jesus is not uh, coming uh, in a spaceship. Okay, when he comes back, uh, he's going to come back on a on a white horse, and uh, and it tells that how he is going to come back in the book of Revelation. So don't be. Uh, there's a. This is a time of deception. So please don't be deceived, everyone. Uh, about what is to come up um, upon the earth, and these prophetic. Pillars could could be warnings um, as to uh, what is about to happen, and this figure right here, uh, well, it looks to me there's a person lying down, and this looks like flames, and this looks like a pointing finger pointing towards this figure. Uh, I think I don't know if this is part of the Ezekiel uh, vision. But I'm running out of time. Um, I had something else I was wanting to uh, to show you too. Um, okay, this comes from the this right here, this image right here. This comes from what they call the uh, the tree of life, and this is uh, seen a lot in the Kabbalah religion, which is the Jewish uh, Kabbalah, and this is all satanic. So be warned, people. We're living in deceptive times. I'm running out of t time on this video. So um, I'll, I'll see you in part two. Uh, 
Uh, okay.